Michelle Rodriguez, and today we are going to be talking about using Microsoft's Make Code environment for fashion projects. So we make fashion tech, or tech couture, whatever you want to call it. Um, we make projects that um, are interactive, and they're dresses that um, we that um, the user can put input in or they can have input from the environment. Um, if you were here yesterday, you saw some of our 3D printed projects. Um, so the two dresses on the sides have 3D printed elements that are printed directly on the fabric. And then the one in the center is a project called Reflections. Um, and it is using a Bluetooth radio to scroll words on the bottom of the skirt. Um, and so that's one of the things that you can do if you're using an Arduino or if you're using MakeCode um, with certain boards is that you can use Bluetooth to make your garments interactive with your phone or with other people or with other garments. So, what is MakeCode? MakeCode is oops, sorry, is visual programming. So it uses these blocks instead of text um, to build the code. It also has a JavaScript editor, but you can do most of the program writing directly in these blocks. It is event-driven, and it has a built-in simulator. So what does that mean? It means that um, on your screen, it will show you a simulation of how your project will work. So in this case, we're lighting LEDs. Um, this example is the uh, Adafruit uh, Circuit Playground Express um, and it has 10 LEDs on it. And so the simulator is showing you how those LEDs would light up. This is the board. You can see the size of it. Um, so you don't need to actually put your project together in order to figure out how your code's going to work. There's a little example on the screen as you build it. And that way you can try different permutations. You can see if your code's broken, which happens to me a lot. Um, so these are all things you can do inside the browser-based program of it. And the, the program is really cool because it's browser-based, so it's available online. And the even cooler part is that it's available offline, so you can use the program without being connected to the internet. That makes it great for educational environments that might not have good connectivity. It also makes it great for the Maker Fair, where the Wi-Fi is always awful. So you can still have your programs run um, without needing to be connected connected to the internet. So before you go, so the, the example code that we have here is, is sort of like the quickest simple version to do a hello world. And what that actually looks like is, is this program. You should be able to see the lights flipping back and forth. And if we shake it, there's a little animation that happens. And that Oops. is essentially that little program on there with a little minimal bit, bit, bit of code. Yeah, so instead of having to hook up your Circuit Playground Express, you just run it in the little simulator and it does the same thing. All right, so what boards can you use MakeCode for? So MakeCode is a Microsoft product. It's not a board, it's a programming system. Um, and so the two that we have used most often are the Microbit and the Adafruit Circuit Ex uh, Playground Express. We like them for fashion projects because they have nice rounded corners, which means they don't catch on things. They also have giant copper pads, like giant connective pads, so you can sew conductive thread, and they're also really easy to solder to. So we think they're great for not only educational environment, but for, for fashion projects. And the reason I like this whole system is I think it's great for artists and designers that don't necessarily have a programming background, because uh, even though you can learn JavaScript to refine things, you don't need it to get started. You don't need C, you don't need JavaScript to get started. Um, there are other um, boards. SparkFun is making one targeted also for education and artists, and then uh, Chibi Electronics. If you want to experiment more with the micro bit, there's the Young Makers group across the parking lot to, the, to my left and they have some micro bits out that they're experimenting with today. So go visit them. All right, so the micro bit was developed um, with the BBC for the educational market. It's programmed using MakeCode and Python. We like it because it has an accelerometer and a magnetometer sensor. It has two buttons so you can switch the programs on it. And right on the micro bit, 
it has a five by five LED matrix. So um, if you wanted to create a small wearable project, you could just wear that. And we're told that they're coming out with like an actual wearable bracelet part. So you could put the, um, the micro bit right on your wrist or something. And one of the great things about this is that it has a Bluetooth low energy radio. Um, so what we use that for is to make garments interact with each other. We've used the radio as a proximity sensor so that when two garments with uh, w that are running a micro bit with the Bluetooth radio get close to each other, they'll switch the animations for the LEDs or they'll switch how they react to each other. So that's one application so far that we found really useful for fashion. And then we also like the Circuit Playground Express, which is made right here in New York. Um, you can program it using Make Code, Python, or Arduino. Um, it has built-in buttons, it has a switch built-in, it has a speaker, and it also has 10 uh, NeoPixels, which are kind of your addressable LEDs. The other thing that has really cool is that it has an accelerometer and it has a ton of other sensors. So the whole point of all these sensors on these boards is so that um, kids or artists or anyone really can learn different permutations of the code and you can make your board do all those things without having to put in additional sensors. But it makes it great for fashion because you can make one garment, you can make it react to music, you can make it react to light. Um, and instead of having to switch out sensors like you would have to do for um, with older boards, you can have them all on one board. All right. So we use um, NeoPixels usually with ours. They're also um, WS2812B. We daisy chain them. Um, and the Adafruit has a whole NeoPixel library, which is useful for using in MakeCode. And also the simulator for the Circuit Playground Express will show you a NeoPixel strip. So you can see how it's going to react without having to hook up your electronics. This is the... All right. So this is the example that we're going to show you. We're going to actually build this example using MakeCode so you can see all the parts that go into it. It's a really simple program. Um, basically what it does, it's going to translate each of the values. It's, it's got a three-axis accelerometer on here. We're going to map each value of the, ex uh, the each axis value of the accelerometer to the value of the RGB, just so that we can, we can lift it up, it'll start changing colors. So let's take a look at that. All right. Oops. That's okay. So let's go. So this is Microsoft Make Code. So up here, there's the little bars where the cursor is. That's essentially our, our, our starting function. This is where we do any setup. And then the following is essentially just a big forever loop, which is a code that runs continuously. Two minutes. Two minutes. So um, OK, so two minutes, really? All right. Um, OK. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to see how far I can get on this. I'm going to add a package. I'm going to add the NeoPixel package. So it comes on. And I'm going to set up a variable to, to basically create the NeoPixel strip. So this is basically saying, I'm going to create a new pixel strip on pin zero, which will be one of the large pins on the micro bit. Uh, I'm going to have a strip of 10. And I'm going to basically st start with uh, the format of the RGBs. Um, then to read, to, I'm not probably, it looks like I'm going to run out of time. So I'm going to sh just show you a couple of steps. And then I'll show you the completed program. Uh, so the, the next bit is basically where I take a value. Let's see, we'll do another set. And I'm going to change the name of this variable to call it um, x for red. All right. And actually, I need to change. I need a new variable item on that one. Oops, sorry. Item. And I'm going to read the input. 
of the accelerometer at x. So basically what I'm doing there is re reading the x value of the accelerometer and putting it into the red. Uh, because I'm running out of time, I'm going to switch over to show you the complete program. But the, the quick answer is, is that here I actually have values for the y and the z, the z axis. So what the program, when it's finished, actually looks like is, whoops, there we go. So this is what the problem actually finally what it finally looks like. It basically the first line to, in the start, we basically define a neopixel strip, and then in the further loop, we basically every every about every tenth of a second, we're reading in those values. Then we're setting we're setting the pixel color, the first pixel. Uh, so what I ended up doing once I had my program done, I hit the download button, and to actually program the microbit, it's as easy as. Um, here's my downloaded program. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the micro bit that since I connected it shows up online and should hopefully start. Show that one more time. There it goes, it's copying. All right, it's good. All right, so the next step is uh, I created this little handy cable that has, so this is a bi-neal pixel strip. It has 10 strips. It has a little JC connector. I quickly created this cable that has alligator clips with the appropriate connector. I'm going to plug it in. Actually, I'm going to connect things. Ground, always connect ground first. Then I'll connect my pin to... Let's switch that to... Okay. No, here. Oh, you fine. do it, I'll run in. So, I've got my black on ground. I'm going to connect my data pin to zero. Remember, we defined it as zero. And I'm going to connect to red to power. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to connect the strip. Can you hold it down? All right. So now, so it's a little hard to see, but they're actually, they're blue. Let's hold it up this way. Okay. All right. And now as I move the pic, the, 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 the uh, biker bit, it actually starts changing colors. If I set it back down again, they should all default down to the blue. If I move it along a different axis, I should start seeing different colors. All right. So we are out of time, but yep. we can take questions in the back under the umbrellas. Right. Thanks for letting right. us. Thank you very much.